Now let's check out the forecast. Meteorologist Ryan Shoptaw standing by on this Thanksgiving morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, Brian. Hope everyone's having a great start to their Thanksgiving. It's cooler. It's also cloudy. You notice we're coming up on sunrise in the next 15 minutes or so, and it is pretty uh, overcast at across South Texas and over the region and 61 right now. Northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour, so there's a light chill on the air with the air temperature at 61 with dew points in the mid 40s. So humidity is down and temperatures are down as well. In fact, we're talking 60s around the area. 58 over in Mathis, 56 over in Heavenville, 61 here in the town and low to mid 60s elsewhere across the area. Now, the northwest winds are on the breezy side at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, and that's bringing in slightly cooler and also dry air. But the thing is, it'll start to switch over from the east today. And with that, if it's open from the Gulf of Mexico, that's going to build our humidity through the early part of the weekend before our next cold front comes through Saturday night. In the meantime, enjoy a high of 68 today for Turkey Day, a high of 78 for tomorrow. So we slowly warm back up into the low to mid 80s before our next system give us, uh, gives us a chance at rain and also some more cooler and seasonable temperatures by early December. In fact, it's Sunday. Now, in terms of rain chances, a lot of the uh, more coverage of rain is out east. We're talking Rockport, Port Aransas, east of Refugio, uh, just along Highway 77. So here in town, maybe a couple of sprinkles uh, just because there's so much cloud cover around the area and we have a lot of moisture still streaming in from the southwest. In fact, we have a good Pacific feed of moisture going in, in and over Mexico with more widespread activity over DFW, let's say Oklahoma, and even some snow out across Amarillo, parts of the Texas Panhandle and off of Interstate 20. Now, as we take a wider reach of things, we're looking at to the west for our next system. You notice all these pink shades and also blue green. Those are all winter weather advisories all ahead of our next storm system. Now, it's not going to impact us too much, but for traveling plans and traveling purposes for people and folks going out of Corpus Christi, maybe into the southwest, into Oklahoma, into, let's say, New Mexico, Colorado, it's going to be a problem. And you notice this feature right here here, this counterclockwise spin, that's our next storm system gaining momentum. So we'll walk you through future cast, what to expect over the next couple of days. Some good snow for the four corners, Utah, even into Denver, Colorado. In fact, Denver, Colorado has been hit with lots of snow since about Monday. All right, and as it travels over the plains, it's going to drag a cold front our way by about Saturday night, and with it, a very, very small chance at rain. After that, it clears out skies, humidity, and the rest of the rain chances for the rest of the weekend. So Sunday looks fantastic. Now, in the meantime, for your Thanksgiving holiday, some stream of showers. Coverage won't be impressive, but there'll be a couple isolated showers throughout the area. Temperatures stay in the 60s, so you're going to want the jacket for the rest of the day for spending any time outside, especially if you're going Black Friday shopping tonight. High of around 70, depending on where you're at, and the coverage starts to dissipate tonight, comes back for tomorrow. And for Thanksgiving, yeah, again, a high around 70 and passing light showers, east northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Seven day forecast upper 70s tomorrow, a bit warmer. The chance of rain still stays and lingers in the early part of the weekend. Better chance for tomorrow, cooler weather on tap for Let's say Sunday into Monday, but again, the latter half of the week will be fantastic with mostly sunny skies. Overnight lows in the low to mid 50s. Cooler weather as we welcome December 1st on Sunday.